let's go deeper and talk about the different uh, parameters we have here okay so um, if I uh, if I move this higher and uh, click on play as you can see there are no more footprint here uh, why does this happen um, because if we want to have a footprint on each model or asset we have to add a, a snow tag for each each actor or each asset we have here now if I hit to play yeah as you can see you now now we have a footprint Uh, how does this happen uh, in character blueprint if I find and open this blueprint here uh, in event graph uh, in event graph uh, we as you can see this blueprint spawn this this blueprint and if I open it now nah, uh, we have a sphere trace here uh, which uh, recognize that if the actor has the snow tag the rendering operation should be run okay uh, to see exactly what's happened I come here and uh, uh, change uh, change this to change the raw debug type and as you can see it's constantly check whether model under the feet has a snow tag or not so i set to none and compile uh, the next point is that if we want to change the height of uh, the snow according to the uh, footprint here we need to have more vertices uh, in our model uh, for this we can um, we can open uh, this model in, into external software like blender and increase the vertices or use the model uh, we have here it has more vertices for our purpose so I come here and add this to our scene uh, I change the rotation I move it and okay now we will apply the same material to this our new motor and don't forget it's no time well here we have the footprint but we want to change the height um, and uh, adding height to the snow is simple but before that uh, let me change some parameter of this material um, decrease the tile and turn on the snow tile set it to point zero point zero three and here uh, let me yeah I should I should decrease this tile number somewhere between here okay well now let's change the height first of all we have to open the material and uh, here as you can see we have the word displacement input 
we need the vertex normal here because we want to change the height along the normal direction from our mesh so I multiply vertex normal with the scalar value I name it name it to high and connect this to word displacement I click on apply now if I come here and change the height I set to I think 15 is a good number for us okay I need to play now you notice the height of the asset that start to change with the footprints uh, now let's change some parameters and see what's happened okay I I increase blur size I set set it to 10 and 10 uh, I decrease this number and now see yeah, yeah. the result the result was a little bit softer pay attention we can change the series of parameter here and also we can change a series of parameters in the material yeah yeah because the material function give us a series of uh, possibility uh, uh, in the first part that I want to talk about uh, is this uh, parameter we have here in the material instance in trace section uh, if, well it will be great if I can separate this detail panel I think I should move it move it here okay so now we want to see what happened uh, when I change the parameters okay I hit play now I make a trail uh, if I press shift with F1 now I have the mouse here uh, I can change the color Um, and I turn on this parameter I think this will be great okay I hold shift F1 one more time Yeah, I increase, I decrease the normal tide, uh, increase normal intensity. Yeah, we have some change here. Uh, we, we can change this and see the offset of the surface change. And uh, this number affects round area of footprints uh, the Yeah, as you can see, we have a better result. We get a better result. Another another interesting thing that we can do is that we might want to have uh, another material under uh, under the snow material. Uh, we can do that. Uh, if I go here and see, we have uh, two input here under material and for that I need the material function I'm going here material material function ice I pick uh, uh, ice shader and I 
plug this to this input now we have a scholar parameter um, I rename it to under mat under snow so I connect this to this and click on apply and yeah let's uh, change the tile of ice and make us some footprint here yeah that, that's enough and now let's uh, let's change the uh, requirement I set the parameter to one as you can see I share the show up yeah. I think I should decrease the tile or in, in, sorry increase the tile of the ice and change the trail offset yeah. I'm happy with that uh, we, we can change the this format and see see what's happened I said one means we have a pure ice under the snow layer. The last thing I want to tell you is that we're doing the same in the landscape material. If I click here and go into landscape section now. If, if you look carefully, we have several snow layer here, snow A, snow, and if I go to the landscape material, if I found it, and yeah. yeah. And as you can see, I feel this snow layer landscape with several sample layer landscape we have here uh, uh, here we have several snow layer ground layer snow a snow b snow uh, because we don't want to change the ground layer, we have to define what is our snow layer uh, for our material function, okay? And uh, we do that with the landscape layer sample, yeah. We can define what is our snow layer. Uh, the output of our uh, Footprint mask is available here because the UE5 doesn't support tessellation technology anymore. So uh, we can use this output to have deformation with uh, virtual height field mesh plugin. Uh, you can use that. And uh, that's it. Uh, I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed. This tutorial if you have any question please let me know you can contact me with discord or email me thank you